welcome all today's topic is art and architecture in gupta period gupta period is the golden period of indian art buddhist art reached to its climax during gupta period the most famous temples of gupta period that still remains are numerous seated and standing images of buddha from saranath paintings as an art form reached a high degree of perfection during gupta times the wall fresco at the ajanta and one at the bhag caves bear evidence of this gupta artists were also skilled in bronze a 2 meter high bronze image of buddha has been discovered at sultan ganj in bihar the gupta period marked the beginning of the construction of free standing hindu temples made up of lasting material the artistic achievement of the age is exhibited in the delicate workmanship and the variety of designs shown in different kinds of gupta coins cave architecture though architectural development of caves during the gupta period remains more of less constant but the use of mural paintings on the walls of the cave became popular mural paintings on caves such as ajanta ellora were the most notable ajanta cave is the world heritage site located in aurangabad district of maharashtra state there are 29 rock cut caves of which five belongs to hinayana period and rest belong to mahayana period these caves were made from 200 bc to 7th century under the patronage of shunga kushana gupta vakataka and chalukya dynasties all three primary art forms namely architecture sculpture and paintings are associated with these caves ajanta is the only surviving example of painting of 1st century ce features of ajanta cave the subject of excavation in all the caves are buddhist images of buddha bodhi sattva and seen from jataka and avadanas are included in sculpture and paintings some other important feature can be summarized in the following manner the figure of these caves were done using fresco painting and demonstrate considerable naturalism some of the famous fresco are preachable buddha dying princess flying apsara and padmapani and vajrapani Cave 26 as famous Mara Vijaya sculpture of Buddha which depicts the victory of Buddha over Mara that is desire figuratively in which army of Mara and his daughter is shown surrounding Buddha this is the largest sculptural panel at Ajanta it is highly animated and shows a very matured sculptural style paintings in ajanta have a lot of typological variations outwards projection are used and lives lives are clearly defined along with the rhythm limited colors with natural tones have been used namely brown yellowish brown yellow orange and greenish the different skin color represent multicolored population the influence of vengi and vitarbha sculptural tradition is also observed in delineation of some sculptures beside these caves belong to a long period having multiple patterns which is represented in the stylistic difference in different caves next elora cave elora cave locally known as verul leni in another is another unesco world heritage site apart from ajanta and elephanta caves it contains 32 caves which were built between 5th century ce and 11th century ce under the patronage of different dynasties primarily the gupta empire the rashtrakuta vakatakas and yadavas features of ellora cave it is unique art historical site in the country as it has monasteries associated with three religions the hinduism buddhism and jainism it is also unique in terms of stylistic eclecticism that is confluence of many styles at one place some other important features can be summarized in the following manner the cave sculpture cultures are a confluence of subjects of three religions beside they represent different styles of architecture and craftsmanship as guilds 
फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक विदर्भ एक्सेट्रा काव डिफरेंट केव्स एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ टाइम द बुद्धिस्ट केव ट्वेल्व इन नंबर कंटेन्स द इमेज ऑफ बुद्धा विच इज गार्डेड बाय वज्रपानी एंड पद्मपानी मेनी इमेजेस ऑफ तारा बोधिसत्व लाइक अमिताभ अवलो अवलोकटेश्वर वैरोचन एक्सेट्रा आर फाउंड both shaiva and vaishnava traditions are depicted among the shaivite theme ravana shaking mount kailasha andakasura vadha and kalyana sundara are profusely depicted whereas among the vaishnavite themes the different avatars of vishnu were depicted mural paintings in ellora are found in five caves but only in kailasa temple they are uh, they are somewhat preserved the paintings were done in two series first at the time of carving uh, the cave and subsequent series was done several centuries later the earlier painting show vishnu and lakshmi brought through the clouds by garuda garuda with clouds in the background the most famous creation at ellora is the great kailasa temple which is carved out of a single piece of rock elephanta cave The Elephanta Cave, located near Mumbai, were originally a Buddhist site, which was later dominated by the Shaivist faith. It is contemporary of Ellora, and its culture show slenderness in the body. The main cave, also called the Shaiva Cave, the central Shaiva relief Trimurti, is located on the south wall and is flanked by Ardhanarishwara on its left and Gangadhara to its right. The tradition of rock cut caves continued in the Deccan, and they are not found only in Maharashtra but also in Karnataka, mainly at Badami and Aihole. Executed under the patronage of Chalukyas in Andhra Pradesh and in Tamil Nadu, the patronage of the Pallavas. Next, Bhag Caves, located on the bank of Bhagani River in the Dhar district of Madhya Pradesh. It is a group of nine Buddhist caves developed and around sixth century AD. It is widely believed that these caves were established by Buddhist monk Dattaka. It is architecturally very different to the Ajanta caves. Bha caves are known for mural paintings made in tempera technique. The wall had strong mud plaster and paintings were scribbled through these mud plaster very artistically. culture during gupta period during the gupta period a new school of sculpture developed around saranath this school of art is better known for its elegant simplicity and sublimity in form the chief features of saranatha school can be summarized as follows many buddha images in saranatha have plain transparent drapery covering both shoulders the hollow around the buddha's head has very little ornamentation saranatha uh, buddha image of this period show considerable softness in the treatment of of the surface and volume sculptural art buddha is generally represented either single or with a attendant feature, figures of bodhisattva padmapani and vajrapani temple architecture during gupta period Temple architecture is one of the most notable feature of Gupta period. Most of the temples built in this period were carved with represent representation of god and gods and goddesses. Gupta temple architecture evolved from flat roofed monolithic temple in the initial stage to sculptured shikara in the later stage which could be categorized in five stages. These are first stage Temples in the first stage had flat roof. Temples were square in shape, as in Gupta architecture. The square and considered is the most perfect form, and temples were designed to be appreciated from all sides. The portico was developed on shallow pillars, and the entire temple structure was built on low platform. Example: Temple number seven at Sanchi and Kankali Temple. in tigwa second stage flat roof continued along with pillared portico though not shallow high and upraised platform 
arbulatory around garbhagraha for worshippers to do parikarma parikrama and some instances of two stored temples example parvati temple nachan kutara in madhya pradesh next third stage most of the features of second stage are carried forward emergence of curvilinear roof that is shikara in place of flat roof pachan pachayathan school that has four subsidiary shrines along with main introduce example the shavatara temple at diogra uttar pradesh and durga temple aihole in karnataka next stage 4 most of the features of third stage are continued main shrine became more rectangular example third temple solapur in maharashtra next fifth stage most of the features of previous stage are are carried out in introduction of circular temples with shallow rectangular projections example maniyar mat rajgir in bihar style, style of temple architecture in different parts of the country distinct architectural style of temples got evolved as result a geogra- as result of geographical ethical and ethnic and historical diversities two broad orders of temples which became prominent in architectural style of temples were nagara in the north and dravida in the south Besara style of temple architecture also became an independent style created through the selective mixing of the nagar and the dravida orders next basic feature of hindu temple with its safety height state stately height and dignified proportions varied forms and wealth of carving and sculptures the indian temples are most impressive structures different styles of temple architecture developed in different region of india under the patronage of mighty empires and local rulers however few aspects of basic hindu temple remains the same they are garbhagraha it is a cave like sanctum which is the early which in the early temples was a small cubicle with a single entrance and grew into large chambers in time it is made of it is made to house and principally diet principal deity of temple next mandapa it is the entrance of the temple which may be a portico and incorporate space for a large number of worshippers shikara or vimana 5th century ce onward free standing temples tended to have mountain like spire which can be taken the shape of curving shikara in north india and pyramidal tower vima called a vimana in south india vimana it is the mount or vehicle of the temple main deity and uh, along with the standard pillar or dwaja placed axially before the sanctum next ornamentation finally various temples of ornamentation such as gavaksha va vyala yali kalpalata amalaka kalasha etc are used in distinct way and place in the temple next the nagara or north indian style temples nagara is the style of temple architecture that became popular in north india it is common for an entire temple to be built on the stone platform with steps leading up up to it Various subdivisions of Nagara temple depending on the shape of shikara are first one latina or the rekha prasada type of shikara second one pamsana type of shikara third one vallabhi type of shikara latina shikara it is the most common name of for the simple shikara uh, shikara uh, which is square at the base and whose wall curved to or sloped inward to a point on top pamsana its roof do not curve inward instead they slope inward uh, uh, on the straight incline in northern north indian temple the pamsana design are used for the mandapas while the main garbhagraha is housed in the latina building villabhai villabhi these type of temples are rectangular building with a roof has raised 
into vaulted chamber. Basic features of Nagara te temple architecture. Most of the temple followed the Panchayatna style of temple making. Images such as Mithunas and the river goddesses Ganga and Yamuna are placed outside the Garbhagra. There are multiple shikaras rising together as a cluster and vertical end of shikara ended in the horizontal fluted disc that is Amalka. Amalak. And on top of that a spherical shape kalash was placed. Presence of different sub school is the distinct feature of Nagara style of temple architecture. For instance, Salonki school, Odisha school, etc. In Nagara style, it is common for the for an entire temple to be built on the stone platform with steps leading up to it. Nagara style of temple architecture is usually characterized by the presence of pillars, gopuras and water tank which is prominent feature of Dravida style of temple architecture. Next, temples of central India. The oldest surviving structural elements of later Gupta period are generally found in Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan. Temple is mainly in the form of Panchayatna that is total number of five shrines in the form of Panchayatna school of architecture where the main shrine is built on the rectangular plinth with four smaller subsidiary shrines at the four corners. Some of the famous temples of central India are Lakshmana temple and Kujraho temple. Some Jain temples as well as Chausa Yogini temple are also found in this part of India. Next temples of western India. The earlier artistic tradition of the region mixed with the post Gupta style gave rise to the distinct style of sculpture. The stone used to build these temple ranges from common sandstone to grey or black basalt. The wall of the central small shrine are devoid of carving and are left plain as the temple faces the east. However, the influence of the wood carving tradition of Gujarat is evident in the lavish carving and sculptural work. Proximity of scarred sacred architecture to a water body such as a tank, a river or a point where the common feature of western Indian temple. The most important examples of temples of western India come from the Sun Temple at Modhera, Jain temples at Mount Abu built in 11th century AD is notable for simplistic exterior in contrast to the exuberant marble interior. Next temple uh, of Eastern India. The Eastern Indian temples include those found in the Northeast, Bengal and Odisha. These are produced distinct types of temples. It also appears that terracotta uh, was the main medium of construction and also for the molding plugs. In Bengal during the 9th and 11th centuries, a style of architecture developed under the Pala rulers and hence came to be known as the Pala style of architecture. Earlier, Pala style shown a tall carving shikara crowned by the large amalka which is similar to contem uh, contemporaneous temples of Odisha. This basic form grows loftier with the passing of the centuries. A regional style distinct from post Gupta style emerged by the 12th and 12th to 14th centuries in Assam. The style that came with the migration of the Thais from Upper Burma mixed with the dominant Pala style of Bengal led to the creation of a home style in and around Gauhati. Konak Sun Temple declared the World Heritage Site in 1984 is the culmination of Orison temple architecture. Lingaraj temple is considered as the mature state of Orison temple architecture. Next temple architecture of South India. The Dravida or South Indian temple style. The Dravida style of temple architecture was prevalent in the far south in the region between Krishna and Kanyakumari. The beginning of this architecture was made by the Pallavas in the 7th 8th century AD at their capital Kanchi which reached its pinnacle during Cholas. The temple is in the Dravidian architecture made, made a beautiful sculptured rock. Following are notable features of Dravidian style of architecture. 
first one the principal part that uh, the temple itself is called vimanam it is most almost always square in plan and surmounted by the pyramidal roof of one or more stores it contains the main sanctum or garbhagriha it raises up geometrically rather than curving shikara of north india the front wall has an entrance gateway in its center which uh, which is known as gopuram a large dravidian style temple have many multiple gopurans a huge pillared hall or a mandapa surrounding the sanctum are were used for many purpose and are the invariable accompaniment of these temples crowning part is called shikara unlike northern temples in which the whole vertical structure is called shikara at the entrance of south indian temples it is usually to find sculptures to trace dwarapalas or the door keepers guarding the temple it is common to find a large water reservoir or a temple tank subsidiary shrines are either incorporated within the main temple tower or located as distinct separate small shrine beside the main temple pallava's contribution in temple architecture although they were mostly shaivet several vaishnava shrines also survived from their rule and they were also influenced by the long buddhist history of the deccan thereby buildings were rocked while the later ones were structural the show temple at mahabalipuram house three shrines houses three shrines two uh, dedicated to shiva in the east and west and one dedicated to vishnu in the middle as ananta ananta shayana ananta shayana it is unique and hence shows that different shrines may have been added at different times pallava king mahendravarman 1 introduced a rocket temple the second stage of pallava architecture is represented by the monolithic rathas and mandapas found at mamalapuram show temple and pancharathas at mahabalipuram is an example of monolith indian rocket architecture the biggest ratha was named as dharmaraja ratha while the smallest one is called the draupadi ratha contributions of cholas in temple architecture under the patronage of chola rulers hundreds of temples were built in south india dravidian feature initiated by the pallavas acquired the classical forms and features under the cholas such as gopurams mandapas and vimanas some characteristic feature of chola architecture are in the beginning gopuram features was subdued and vimana feature dominated but in later stages gopuram overshadowed the vimanas in the beginning vimanas were constructed in the cellular mode graded manner as in the raja jeshwari temple in tanjavur but in later phases vimanas began to be constructed in circular concept as in the nataraja temple at chidambaram the magnificent bhradeshwara temple that is raja rajeshwara temple built by raja raja chola is the largest and the tallest of all indian temples gangai konda cholapuram and airavateshwara temple at dasha dara suram uh, are some of the finest temples of chola rule next nataraja sculpture Although the earliest known Nataraja sculpture, which has been excavated at Ravana Padi cave at Aihole, was made during the early Chalukya rule, the sculpture reached its peak under the Cholas. The well-known dancing figure of Shiva was made in bronze. Signif- uh, significance of uh, significance of Nataraja are as follows. In the Chola period, the bronze sculpture of Shiva is associated with the end of the cosmic world with the dancing position. In this sculpture, Shiva has been placed balancing himself on the on his right leg and suppressing the apasmara, the demon of ignorance or forgetfulness, with the foot of the same leg. 
left leg is raised in bhujang bhujanga trasita stance which represents tribhava triobhava this is kicking away the veil of maya or illusion from the devotee's mind the hair locks flying on both the sides touching the circular jwala jwala mala or the garland of flames which surrounds the entire dancing figuration the symbol the symbolism of shaiva nataraja is regional art and science merged in one next deccan architecture the different style of temple architecture influenced by both north and south uh, south indian temples were evolved in the peninsula of deccan in some ancient texts it is known as vesara the major contributors of deccan architecture were rashtrakutas hoysalas and chalukyas temple architecture under rashtrakutas the greatest achievement of rashtrakutas in architecture is the kailasnatha temple at ellora a, a, a Uh, a culmination of at least a millennium long tradition in the rock cut architecture in india it is carved out of a monolithic hill with dravidian shikara the main temple has a nandi mandapa which lead to the garbhagriha with shishivalinga the sculpture of the rashtrakuta face at ellora is dynamic infused with unparalleled grandeur and overwhelming energy jain narayana temple at pattadakallu karnataka is an example of temple architecture under rashtrakutas next temple architecture under chalukyas the hybridization of features of both nagara school and dravidian school was the hallmark of chalukyan building while early chalukyan activity was in form of rock cut caves later activity is an structural temples is of structural temples temples at pattadakallu durga temple at aihole latkan temple at aihole are some of the unique temples of this period the durga temple at aihole is unique as it has an earlier style of an apsidal shrine which is reminiscent of buddhist chaitya hall and is surrounded by a veranda with a shikara they that is stylishly stylistically like the nagara the uniqueness of latkan temple is a uh, latkan temple at aihole can be seen in the form of inspiration from the wooden look temples on of the hill even though it is constructed of stone next temple architecture under hoysala of karnataka the vaining of chola and pandya tower give rise to the hoysala of karnataka who became the most important pattern of art and architecture centered in at mysore the three important temples of hoysala are the temples at beluru halebedu and somnathpura the most characteristic feature of these temple is that they grow extremely complex with so, so many projecting angles that plan of these temples starts looking like star and hence it known as stellate plan these temples are made of a soap stone which is relatively soft stone and hence the artist artists were able to carve the sculpture in intricately the hoysala temple are sometimes called hybrid of vesara as their unique style seems neither complete dravida nor nagara but somewhere in between these two they are easily distinguishable from other medieval temples by their highly original star like ground plans and a profuse of decorative carvings next temple architecture under vijayanagara kingdom the ruler of vijayanagara empire were the great, great pattern of art and architecture with the capital at hampi they combined the features of chola hoysala pandya and chalukyas architectural style their architecture also have some islamic influence from neighboring sultanates its stylistic hallmark is the ornate pillared that is kalyana mandapa vasanta mandapa and rayo gopuram they constructed massive walls around the shrine as a, as a safeguard against intruders small shrines consisted simply of a garbhagriha and a pro- porch to ensure durability of the structures artisans used locally available hard granite instead of soft sandstone used by chalukyas and hoysalas p 
pillars are the most prominent features of vijayanagara temple which often have en engraving of charging horses they build gopuram on all sides one important element of the vijayanagara style is the carving of large monoliths such as nandi bull is in lepakshi they also introduce cellar archi secular architecture as as in case of lotus mahal famous examples of vijayanagara temples is vitala swami temple lotus mahal virupaksha temple at uh, in hampi next class let us study about indo islamic architecture thank you